Life Kids Online. I'm Coco Vishay. Hi, welcome to Life Kids Online. I'm Cheche Yokshan. Let's pray. Father God, we just want to thank you for today, for this lesson, and help us to learn as we learn more about missions and about going out into the world and about serving you. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Today we'll be doing My New Life in Christ number 11, which is missions. So, according to Pastor Jay, mission forms a vital part of God's will. Meaning, mission is the great commission which is to make disciples of nation as well as the great commandment which is to love God and others. So how do we carry out missions? It starts from the people around us to gradually extend to the people beyond. It often requires us to enter into people's social and cultural world without compromising our Christian values and Christian beliefs. Mission is also an expression of love to help our brothers and sisters in Christ. So what are some examples of missions that you can do? Firstly, you can either give by contributing to Mission Fund, which some of you have already pledged, or you can either consider giving Bible or food to those who really need it. Or the second thing you can do is either committing to pray for um, a nation, for a group of missionaries, or even for a church. The third thing you can consider doing is also participating for mission trips. That's one thing that I love to do because I've actually visited to all our Asli mission trips and also overseas mission trips. Or basically the last thing you can do is to be a witness of God's love and share about His love and your new life and experience to the people around you. Bible verse time! Can you go get your Bible now? Today we're going to read from the NLT Bible. Okay, now go to Matthew chapter 28 and find verse 18 and 19. Jesus came and told his disciples, I have been given all authority in heaven and on earth. Therefore, go and make disciples of all nations, baptizing them in the name of the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Okay, so what does this verse mean? It means that Jesus was given all authority and Jesus has given us the authority as his disciples to go and make disciples. What does making disciples mean? It means to share the gospel with others and that is doing missions. Today there are two questions from the PDF lesson which you can discuss with your daddy and mommy. You can discuss it in the car or when over dinner time or before you go to bed. Have fun! Family activity of the week. This week is missions. Go find out the places where New Life goes for mission trips. Maybe your dad and your mom has been on these mission trips or maybe even you have been on those mission trips. You and your parents can discuss what it was like or where you have been or what did you do there. Remember Christmas last year where we went to the orphanage? Each of your children bought a present, wrapped it and we delivered it there. We sang songs and played games with the children. That is a form of missions as well. But now it's different. How do we do missions during this time? Remember that missions is about sharing the gospel and also caring for people. So remembering those two points, we can do missions by sending a text to your friend or you can Zoom call them and most of all, you can even pray for them. Okay, that's all for this week's lesson. Let's close with a word of prayer. Father God, we just want to thank you for today's lesson where we learn a little bit more about missions. Help us and guide us as we share the gospel and care for the people around us. In Jesus' name we pray, Amen. Bye! Surprise! You must be wondering how come you see Auntie Lien, Coco Vishing, and Tete Yok Shan. It is because from this week onwards, we are going to involve a few of our teachers and you are able to see some of your favourite teachers online. And you also must be wondering how come it is in Lifehub? Who? And why is Lifehub so different? 
Well, I'm here to tell you a news is that Life Kids is moving back to the main church. So Life Hub will no longer be around, but we will have a new space in the main building just for Life Kids. That's right, which means when you come back to church, you will have a new space in the main building together with your father and mother. As a family of God, we will worship together in one building. And with that, we want to thank you Life Hub team for giving us such a good space that you and us have enjoyed so much. Now, let's look back for the next few minutes. Let's take a look back at all our moments in Life Hub. <laughs> 